어. back for part four um i always try to time these so they're anywhere between the 25 and the 30 minute mark is what i'm trying to do i do have a big stack of books next to me so we will see how far we get in this one okay so first off today is a book that i got um as happy mail but i don't know who sent it to me uh, it's a really cute book it's a posh coloring book um and it's cool because all the line art in different colors uh, I, I'm really liking it. So whoever sent this to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's unique, and I really like that. And guys, if the lighting's kind of messed up in here today, I do apologize. Um, I don't, I didn't turn on any of my lights because I got this bright, bright sun blaring in the window over to the side of me here, which is why I'm getting a glare over here. Um, so we're gonna see. I also got this in the mail today. Um, that was ordered through Anthem. It kind of came in damaged a little bit and I haven't decided yet if I want to contact them or if I can just live with it since it's just on the edge. It doesn't really interfere with the pages much. Um, you guys know that I'm a big, big Christine Karen fan and uh, it was kind of cool seeing the line art and the grayscale. So that one to add as my third Coloring Heaven book. Okay, so the next book I have for you is the Big Books, the Big, the Book of Beasts, Color and Discover. Yeah, I can talk today. Um, and this is a really kind of cool book. It's a really big book. Uh, I got this one off of a uh, book outlet for just a few dollars. Um, I know it is available on Amazon too, um, but it's really neat. I do like the fact that there are some of these, like with the littler ones, so I can just take my time, do one, do another one, and just keep coming back to it. But yeah, that's a pretty cool book. All right. So next up is Kelly Horton's Little Darlings. This book I do use. Um, you guys ready for this mess? Well, this was just me playing around with gesso and non-gesso. Um, see my failed skin attempts? Look at her. She's a hot mess. Um, but no, this is something that I do play around with skin in. I haven't actually colored a picture because I just like playing um, cute book, very cute book. Uh, the paper in here is, I, I don't even know how to describe it because it's not Amazon paper. It feels really toothy. Um, I have a hard time getting color to go into it. So this probably would be one that I would copy. Uh, and that's just my personal preference. I don't mind Amazon paper. I actually like Amazon paper. And on that paper, the Kelly Horton paper, I actually might gesso it because that's what I was playing around with. And it takes watercolor really well once it's gessoed. Or even like my Arteza Real Brush pens just flow on it. So that'll be nice. So I do have this Christine Karen book. And it's the only Christine Karen book that I own in a, an actual um, hard copy. And that's Benny Blue. Super cute book. Um, I do have most of Christine Karen's books on PDF. That's just how I prefer to get them. Uh, but yeah, really cute book. And it is Amazon paper. Even though this paper just feels a little bit different than the normal Amazon paper. Because it almost feels like slick and shiny. Um, so I am interested in coloring on this to see how it's going to react. Okay. So next up I have Hannah Lynn. These are the only two Hannah Lynn books that I own hard copies of. I do have all but one, I believe, on PDF. I think I'm missing one PDF of Hannah Lynn's. Maybe two. I don't know. Um, but I have Victorian Darlings, which is really cute. And then, of course, Enchanted Faces. Now, I don't have the mini pocket size one. I have the full one. And you guys all know um, my messes in here that I play around with. Uh, and if you guys all watched my June Jux video, you guys all seen her with the electric hair, lightning hair, electric hair. Where's not all electric hair? That was a hot mess. Um, but yeah, super fun book. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Of course, all on Amazon paper. Okay, so the next two that I have up is by Chris Price. So I got The Sweet Shop. Um, which the paper is really nice in these books. Uh, they are cream colored. They are very intricate. 
detailed um, pictures but really cool and I want to sit down especially in the candy shop one there's a the no oh, it's not that one there's a gumball one this one here that I really want to color in I just think it would be fun to sit down and just you know color a few um, gumballs at a time and keep coming back to it and I just think that'd be fun but then his, I have this other book too that is the curiosity shop this is another one that is full of details um, and I think that the Chris Price books are one of those acquired taste books. Um, but there are some really cool images in here. There is a set of images that I want to do. I want to say they're in the back. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Hmm. Oh, right there. I want to do these. The like taxidermist animals, you know, where they're all stuffed in these glass, uh, whatever they're called, like the little globe things. But I liked this picture, so I want to do that one. But yeah, so that is a curiosity shop. Next up is the longest coloring book in the world to the ends of the earth and back again. This book has been stretched all the way out through my house. Um, to get the whole, I think it's 17 feet. Yeah, 17 feet. Just so I can look at the whole thing at one time. Super cool. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool book. It's just super long. So there's that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So next up is Forest Girls. Uh, little Birdie told me that I do have Forest Girls 2 coming. Uh, super excited. Oh, I can't wait. But so I got the first one, and you guys have probably, if you guys follow my uh, channel, me and uh, Beth did this on a live stream together. Um, we both put the same image. But really cute. Um, this was the very first page that I started. I never really finished it because I was messing around with different mediums up here. Um, I was struggling with my my wood grains but I kind of got it now uh, I was having a hard time getting the prismas to go into this paper I think that if I try like a poly or a pablo maybe um, and I might come back to this and finish this up but yes very cute book love 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 forest girl okay so next on the list is Josephine Wall when I got this book I was expecting something a lot different than what I got um, I would like to try maybe watercoloring one of these pages, but they are uh, super uh, tiny details that sometimes I don't even know what goes to what on the page. Uh, some of them you can, you know, figure it out like this. I mean, it's just so tiny. Everything is so tiny on it. Uh, so this is a book that kind of is a shelf dweller that uh, I don't know if I'm going to come to. Uh, I, I, I look at it a lot and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I try this. I wonder if I try that. Uh, I know that I did see somebody do the picture. There's a picture in here of the little girl blowing the bubbles. That was done beautifully. I just, I don't know. Now I was playing around right here. As you can see, I was playing around with different water mediums to see how it took. And I was just throwing stuff on the page just doing whatever um so yeah mm, i don't know we'll see not what i was expecting when i ordered it okay and then i have uh let's see here chris lopez a hidden paradise i know that this book is also available as pdf off of her um etsy store but this is a super cute book the paper in here is really thick, but it is quite toothy. Um, but I've seen people do magnificent pictures out of this book. Super pretty book. And another thing with this book that I do recommend, and I know that it's not one of your six, seven dollar books. It's a little bit pricier than that, but it is spiral bound, which makes it nice. Um, but it does have a little bit of everything, anything from your portraits to your, you know, your little 
elf guys and you got your pumpkins and your houses to your you know your ornamental kind of stuff your jewelry and your gems and your animals it just has a little bit of everything in this book you got your mushrooms and a version of medusa and your mermaids little troll guy uh it's just a very diverse kind of book that i think that this is one that if you don't know what style you like to color this is a good place to start if you've already been coloring um just because then you can kind of see if you like coloring skin or you like coloring animals or mushrooms or whatever it may be all right so next up is one that was just recently um added to my collection this was also happy mail from the lovely kenny because she didn't want to hear me cry no more about it um love this book love 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 this book of course you guys know that i like roses so that one is one that i always go to um there's actually a lot of roses in this book which is really cool um but yeah if you like dragons the paper in here is amazing i love the paper in here and how thick it is i like that it opens from the top um, I also like that it's spiral bound so I can flip it over on itself. All right, so next up is the coloring book of flowers and sweet girls. I do think I have a whip in here. Yes, I do. This girl right here um, that I started. I need to finish her. She won't take long to finish. Uh, but I need to finish her up too. Oh, but this is really cute book. It did take a while to get to me, but not as long as I thought it would. Of course, we got the, the innies that stay on the innie. So then next I have, I bought these in a bundle pack. Um, I don't know exactly the names of them, um, but they came as a combo pack. So I got the two of them for one price on Amazon. Uh, the paper in here is different. It's thick, but it's almost soft feeling. It's so hard to describe. I have not colored in either one of these books yet to tell you how it takes mediums, but I have seen some gorgeous, gorgeous pictures colored out of these books um, from pencils and Copics and all kinds of different mediums. So I'm going to jump on the assumption train and say that it can handle things pretty well, but I will put it to the test. So, there's those two. Alright, so next on the list is Sakuums. I do own both of these on PDF too, um, but I had to have the hard copy. Like, I wanted to see her paper. Um, she also sells these on watercolor paper, so I would love, now that I have beautiful watercolor supplies, um, I, have, I have a coloring book fund and I have a pencil fund that, well, right now is... Well, we're just going to say it's not existent. But I do want to get her books on the watercolor paper, at least one of them, to see how it is. Uh, but these are gorgeous, gorgeous books with gorgeous images in them. The paper is so thick. Like, that is one sheet of paper. One sheet. So thick. And it takes pencil really good. At least it took Polly's really good. So that was the first one. That was the Fantasy Characters 2017, and this is Natural Enchantment 2018. Um, this is the page that I finished in this book that I did with Polly's. Um, but again, gorgeous pictures. Nice paper. Um, Sammy, I think Sammy did this version, if I'm not mistaken. I know somebody did, because we were talking about the ears. I can't remember. So you guys don't take my word on things. But yeah, super cool book. Worth the money, in my opinion. The paper is excellent. But like I said, you can get um, over on her Etsy store. And I'll put everything down in the description, you guys. All the links for all the books are always down in the description. But over on her Etsy store, you can get the combo pack where you can get both the books for one price as PDF. Okay, so then next up, I have... I have the Chintaka Hearth Vivid Publishers um, collection. So this is August Revere. And what's cool about these books is I have hard copies of all of them, but every single one of them comes with a code. 
yep, a code in the back uh, that gives you a, a free PDF with it too. So you get the book plus the PDF version of the book. So you go over to Amazon, you buy the book, you get the PDF version, so then you have both. So then you have a hard copy and you have um, just a PDF where if you have access to a printer, you can print them out and you can mess them up as many times as you want. Or you can practice skin, practice flowers, whatever. So there's that one. Thank you. Uh, and then I have August Revere 2. Uh, same thing. You can get a free PDF with it. It has gorgeous, gorgeous portraits. You want to come over here and help me? Since you just came home? And then I have Saga Fire and Water. And this one's really cool with the sea monsters. And the newest one that is just came out very recently is Renaissance. Uh, totally different style, more sketchy, but so cool. So those are the four in that series. Okay, so after that we have The Mouse Guard by David Peterson. This book uh, I have not started in yet. Like I think the pictures are adorable. I'm just uh, I'm a little tentative on how I want to start this book because to me when I look through it, I can make up a story in my head by you know what's happening, and um, I don't know. It's really it's a really fun book. But I know Karen over at Zucchini Kitty. Um, I also think Sammy, Sammy did some uh, water work in one of these, but Karen did some ink tents. I believe it was ink tents work. Uh, beautiful, beautiful pictures. The things that some of those ladies can do is just amazing. So I have two Dover coloring books. I have the Garden Fairy Alphabet by Darcy May. Um, and they're just, and as you can see, my book was damaged when it came in. Um, I don't let that bother me too much because I just scan them and go on about my day. Because I'm an impatient person. I don't like to wait. So, yeah. Very cute. And then I have Floral Fairies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is a super cute book. Uh, each one, like this one's Rose. So, of course, she's surrounded by roses. Uh, poinsettia. Now, these are double-sided. So, if you like your markers, you like your, you know, your alcohol-based markers, I would suggest copying them and printing them out onto marker paper or any paper of your choice and coloring them that way um but i do like the girls in these like the, the the faces are super pretty okay and then next up is jade summer and i only have two jade summer books hard copies i do have a few on pdf um so this was the very first one i got it was i think it was one of those sale prices like when it first came out it was 3.99 uh, and it just kind of gave you a page from each one of her books. I think that I ripped out two pages out of this book to give to the kids. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really get colored much. And then I have the Chibi Girls, the two books in one grayscale, which is the picture that Ricky colored uh, for the Community Buddy Color. Um, but it is a, this was a, a cute book. I like little Chibis. Of course, on Amazon paper, but that's okay because I like Amazon paper. All right, so next up is Camilla Dierico. So I got the Pop Manga, which this is my practice copy. This is the book that I um, try different techniques in. Um, I did color, I think, one page in here. See, I was trying, I don't even know what I was trying. This is like when I first got the book, way back in October, November, uh, when I first started coloring. I did color her. I don't like the birds, um, but I was trying hair, and it's not horrible, but it's, you know. And see, yeah, that was October 21st, 2018, when I colored that. And I started coloring at the beginning of October. 
Um, and I was still learning how to do skin. I was learning how to do a lot of different things. This was my latest messing around with some watercolor in here. Because uh, I'm learning that process too. Another one, a jelly, a different jelly plating technique that I was trying out with different mediums. So yeah, this is my practice copy. I do have another copy of this because I really um, screwed up some of it. But, and then I have the mermaids, which is super cute. And I only have one of these. I know I started a page, I just don't know where. Maybe in the back. I don't know, somewhere in here is a page that I started. That is currently sitting in my whip pile. And the paper in those books are really nice. I don't know if you guys, if you don't have those books, the paper are, are excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so then I have Tanya Bagoma Stolova. So this is a little steampunk um, coloring book I have. And as you can see, it's pretty small. And it's just little, like even the details are little. But it's kind of, it'll be a nice, like, fine liner one if I want to screw out fine liners. Or if I was taking, you know, Xander somewhere, Zayden somewhere, and I could just take this, throw it in my coloring to go bag with some fine liners, and let them have a go with it. Her next book I have is Vintage Classic 1. Um, now, these you can also get uh, as PDFs if you go to Etsy. On her Etsy store, she has all of her coloring books PDFs, and they're all reasonably priced. And in the back, it just kind of gives you stuff from her other books. Like that whole section is from her other books. And then that is from this book. Um, but some of the designs are really pretty. I don't have it. Uh, then we have vintage classic coloring pages too. I really like this picture. Uh, Pat over at Cajun Sunshine Crafts was working on that picture. This one's another one of my favorites. The like, little sea girl. Very cute book. And then I have Nice Little Town 4, where if you watch my June Jux video, you'll notice that this was one of the first pages I colored. This was on October the 8th. Um, uh, I don't know if I used Prismas on here, if I used Crayolas. Uh, I don't know. That's all I, well, I actually didn't have my Prismas then, so it had to be Crayolas in here. Um, but yeah, so this is a cute book too. Again, on Amazon paper, but you can go over to Etsy and get them on PDFs. Okay, so next up. I have Coloring Book Cafe. Uh, this was a new book that I just got from Shannon. Um, actually, I just got these in yesterday. Yesterday, day before yesterday. I don't know. My day's all mixed together. I love the pitcher plants. I tried growing pitcher plants. It didn't work, but I, I want to try again in a terrarium type uh, environment. So this way I can monitor the humidity and things like that. Um, but this is another cute book. I love botanicals. Botanicals and florals are my two things that I tend to go to the most. And dragons. I do like dragons. So Rainforest was another one that Shannon uh, sent to me yesterday. And this book is so cool. Because it has just a little bit of everything. The frogs. I love the frogs. And the iguana. My, both my favorite pages. Okay, then also I have Forest Fairies that I do have a complete flip through of this book on my channel. If you want to see a complete flip through. But again, it's a, a pretty cute book. And then Stained Glass is one of the newer ones that I just got. Um, most of the time the Coloring Book Cafe books will go when they just hit Amazon, like when they're just released, they're like $3.99. 
So I don't mind spending, you know, a few dollars on a book, even if I don't color in them, my kids can, or I can cut out pieces for journaling. I do journaling. Um, I have a big desk journal that sits up here that I throw all my mediums at after I'm done with them. And so they're just pages full of just random colors that I can uh, just slap pictures on and go from there. So next up I have my Selena Fennec ones. Um, I do have most of her books also on PDFs. I do have a couple that I have hard copies of. So of course fairy tales. I got this book the day that it came out. It was beautiful. Um, I've seen beautiful pictures. May over there. Oh, her Beauty and the Beast one. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Um, so there is the fairy tales. And then of course Fedorables. Super cute. I have uh, flip throughs of both of these on my channel. And then this is the other one I have is Fairies and Fantasy, four books in one. Um, and it tells you on the back, uh, it's Enchanted Fairy Art, Festive Magic, and The Fairy Companion. So all four of those books are squeezed into this one big book. Very cute. Okay. So next up on the list, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. We have Julia Rivers. These are the only two Julia Rivers books I got. Peaceful Village Dreams. And I got these right around Christmas time. Um, the boys wanted some coloring books. And so I decided to go ahead and get each of us the same book so we can color together. And they really like, uh, well, one of them likes intricate de details. The other one just likes coloring whatever mom's coloring. Um, and the Mar Magical Fairy Village. All right, so next on the list is Elena Lazariva, another artist that I have most of her books on PDF, but I did get the line art version, the 100 page line art one, because most of my PDF ones are grayscale. Uh, this is on like this ivory creamish kind of paper. Uh, it is Amazon paper, but it's like this ivory color. Another very pretty book. I started coloring. I gotta finish it. I started coloring this page. I need to come back to it. I worked on the water droplets a little bit. Um, I need to come back and finish it up because I just did a marker base and then I'm putting pencil on top of it. Okay, there you go. Next up is Laura Rafferty's Circle Portraits. Uh, I absolutely love this book. It is stunning. The portraits in here are just gorgeous. And the paper is great. All right, so next I have, um, these are two books that I got from the dollar store. They're by Search Press. Um, the author is, or the artist is Jessica Palmer. So this is Tangle Bay. And the paper in here is really good. If you guys go to your dollar store, sometimes the paper in the dollar store books are actually really nice. But so since it's Tangle Bay, you can only imagine that it has a lot to do with water. Um, under the sea or things you find under the sea things like that and then I got tangle wood both really cute books I heard him, baby. Okay, so next up is my um, Herb Leonard collection. So I have Legend Nouveau. Um, I wish that his books were single-sided, but they're not. And we deal with that or we just copy them. And 
and I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, um, or if they are supposed to uh, actually just be one and it didn't get cut. I'm not sure on that one. Maybe they cut it like that. Maybe. So then I have a Fay Nouveau. And this paper is, I, I don't think that it's actually Amazon paper. It's a different kind of paper. It's a little bit thicker than Amazon paper, but not by much. Next is Cinderella. Then we have the Fairy Garden. Fairy Nouveau. And then Fantasy Nouveau. Love the unicorns in these. Like, I like the spiral um, horn. Okay, so then we have probably, let's see, we'll keep going. Yep, I have the Fantastic Beasts. So I have a, a book of 20 postcards to color. The wiggly tooth? Yeah. Xander's losing his second tooth. So this is just uh, postcards that you can color. And then Xander wants one out of here. He had asked me if he could color this one. Yep. So if he colors this one, one of you lucky subscribers might just get this in the mail. We'll see. Um, so next up, and I got these this from Book Outlet. You can see by the black little spot. Do you want when you have money, can you get me one? Leave that right there. Yeah, leave that one right there, okay? Show me the top? Yes. So then we have Fantas Fantastic Beats, Beasts and Where to Find Them. The paper in these books are really nice. They're thick. They kind of remind me of the Daria Song paper. And then I have Fantastic Beasts, uh, Magical Characters and Places. Can you give me that one back real quick? Oh, that one was Magical Creatures. This is Magical Characters and Places. Okay. They are kind of the same. They are kind of the same, but huh? This, that one is different. Yeah, okay. There you go, sir. This one's different. Thank you. We're almost done with this pile. So next up is my Grazia Salvo books. So I have Creature Incarnate. This one is on Amazon paper. Um, but they're super cute and kind of whimsical fairies. Smaller, of course, book, which you guys know. I like small books. And then Flowers and Gems. One of my favorites to color in. I think I've done two pictures in here. So I did this one. It's kind of buckly because I watercolored part of the background. I know I colored another one in here. The paper in here is great. I know some people struggle with uh, some of the mediums in here. I haven't found an issue yet. I colored uh, the girl with the pink dress, this one here in uh, Pablo's. That was a picture that I colored when I first got those from the lovely, lovely Melody. And of course, you guys know, I'm not going to be able to find my other page. And I should have marked them out, especially if I was going to talk about them, but well. Yeah, you should have marked them out. I know, I should have. Because now it's going to bother me until I find it. I think you should mark them out. Okay, well, apparently I'm not going to be able to find that page. 
Oh, there it is. And I did this one with Pablo's. I know I need to put a sticky on there, huh? You should have. Uh.